Today I'm installing what amounts to a fueling station in my father-in-law's garage here at the beach. It's for my electric car and essentially 50 bucks. These are all the pieces I need. We're slapping it on the panel. If you're not comfortable working in an electric panel, I would highly recommend you get an electrician both to install and then you're probably going to need the thing inspected after you get it installed. So let's get to it. You're going to need a dual gang PVC box. There is a connector to connect into the electric panel, a coupling uh, for connecting some of the three quarter inch conduits together. And then I found this nifty conduit offset. Uh, that's just to move the conduit away from existing conduits uh, that were there. And then of course uh, we have some three quarter inch PVC conduit, schedule 40. There's some lock nuts to attach the coupling to the panel, some screws and a 50 amp breaker. We also have the wire. There's eight gauge for the conductors and 10 gauge for the ground and then a NEMA 1450 outlet. We also have the cover plate for that outlet. The first step is to take apart the electric panel. Obviously, if you can, try to turn off the power to the panel. Then we have to knock out this knockout at the bottom to run our three quarter inch conduit connector into the panel. Normally I'd use a sawzall to cut the conduit, but since I was on vacation, I just brought my hacksaw. This short piece went into the box, and then I followed this up with a coupling uh, connected to the conduit offset. Like I said before, that conduit offset was simply to move the box away from the existing conduit into the bottom of the panel. It was really just to solve this clearance issue that you, you see here. I used eight gauge THHN stranded for the two phases and the neutral. And then the ground is a 10 gauge stranded wire, which is appropriate for a 50 amp circuit. Here in the US, it doesn't really matter too much which phase goes on the X and which goes on the Y. I tend to like to put the black on the X because that's your primary phase in normal wiring, 120 volt wiring, and then you have your Y, which would be the red or your second phase. Since this conduit was only a foot or two long, I could just push the wires through. I didn't need to get out the tape or the snake that I would typically use. When I'm working in a live panel, I'll generally turn off the breaker or two next to the one I'm working on just so I don't accidentally hit the live lugs on that breaker. The two phases connect into the new 50 amp breaker, the neutral connects to the neutral bus, and then the ground connects to the ground bar within the panel. And that's how I installed my NEMA 1450 outlet for my car right here. So like I said, if you're not comfortable with this, definitely get an electrician to do this project for you. But like I showed, it's also very easy to do yourself if that's something you're comfortable with. I'll be doing some other charging related videos in the future, like a review on this 220, 240 volt 
portable charger, uh, as well as an adapter I have for my Tesla wall connector to a J1772 plug that I use at home. So if these are things you're into, uh, feel free to subscribe. It would really help out the channel. Like the video, uh, it helps the algorithm find it. And I will see you guys in the next video.